Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nancy. So here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proving ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached a level of Conor McGregor and you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do and he eventually did it from knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez. There's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger than life character and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor and he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns here. McGregor steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, and now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor McGregor. Herb Dean, our referee for Ready. this one. Ready. Go. So here is Conor McGregor yet again. You hear the Irish fans going bananas. There is no atmosphere in the fight game at present, quite like Conor McGregor inside this UFC octagon. Immediately, Conor taking control here of the center of the octagon. Absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Got his guard passed. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by McGregor. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now. He's in the 
and Mop. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not <laughs> a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and counter it. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. This is where he wants to be. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Great job finding his shots from the top position. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This game. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. We're under two minutes now to go round one. Checked effectively there by McGregor. Straight punch. Houston. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Beautiful body kick. Nice up. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Beautiful jab there by Champ. Back kick there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Well timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by Connor. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Whoa. He's in trouble. Oh, this could do it. Block there. McGregor's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Takedown defense holds up. Final seconds here. Nice feedback right hand, my goodness. Now we're just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> right. Round two coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. A big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. That's my team there on the inside. Right hook to the head block. Takedown defense is there. Oh, pretty good. 
technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Oh, lands the overhand. How good is that? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, punches and punches all to the head. Beautiful combination. Oh, man, with the head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now some separation. Well, everybody wants a piece of Conor McGregor, of course, including his opponent here tonight. What else can you say about McGregor's ability to manage his time and everything that has been asked of him since he vaulted to not just MMA superstardom, but A-list celebrity status? Oh, nice. Nice. Well, we got a lot of... Push kick there to the body. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm close to the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> oh, he's got the choke. Got it very tight. Good job by the champ there. Try and back up. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Hard working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, right into mouth. Gotta be careful here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately and he's landing to get damage on. Good, solid strike on the ground. And now he's got the back. There it is, now he's going to mount. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. That was a slick transition. He's getting him out here. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Oh, big elbow. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. This has got to be the end of the fight. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Print the shirts, ground and pound. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. He Bottom needs to fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. 30 seconds to go in the round. Working out of the half guard here. This is a terrible position. Final seconds here of round two. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Ten minutes in the books. He's all over you with this initial attempt. Great job with your defense, but we gotta do better. I want you to put him on the defensive. That means we
All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, huge hook. Oh, he's hurt bad. striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Oh, nice takedown defense. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Good combination there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Nice straight right wings. All right, so a simple blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he... Oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants his badly. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Ground and pound strike there now. Nice positional control here. Using a lot of good movement. Oh, McGregor's in half goal. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Now he's going full mount. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. About two minutes here to go in round three. Come back. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Might get the TKO here. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, nice transition. He's got him flat on his back. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good like movement that. to avoid some like of that, that power coming back. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. We might get a stoppage here. Mark Dean steps in. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritize the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 41 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC 
heavyweight champion of the world, Big. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.